Welcome back guys. All right, we are going to continue on with the tutorial series and we're going to go through how to put an eight wax into your missions so that you can get uh, Brackles or enemy en enemy uh, aircraft. So what are you going to do? Come on in, add or modify airplane group. Okay, we've gone through this before and we're going to put a blue AWACS in. So you're going to go country, make sure it's any of the blue. USA is pretty much default. And we're going to come down here and we're going to choose in the task, we're going to go AWACS. Okay, AWACS. And then, of course you don't work. Whatever. Whatever. Fine, we'll do it the other way. So AWACS for the blue side are these two here. E2D and E3A. Okay, E2 Hawkeye, E3. And you can see what they look like. Let's put this guy in. If you go to that so our loadout screen you can kind of get a preview so that's the e3 there if we change this to a e2 all right so the e2 takes off from the aircraft carriers all right it's the carrier airborne warning radar that's what she does all right and the dish spins around changes skins all right so we're going to put a e3 in which is the big bopper all right, you can have USAF or NATO, doesn't matter. Whatever you want to do, cool. Back to this. So we got our AWACS in. So now we're going to go through how to set it up. So our AWACS, we are going to call this guy. So the name and the uh, pilot name, try and make them the same. So we're going to call this guy Overlord because we're going to make our full sign Overlord. So we're going to call him overlord one one we're going to copy that control c and then for the pilot name make it the same so get in the habit of if you're going to make units and use triggers and all the rest of it which we'll go through later on name and pilot name are the same okay e3 we're going to put them on excellent skill and we're going to go through setting up some stuff now so frequency if the AWACS's main role is to provide radio call outs to you to tell you where the enemy aircraft are so you're going to make sure radio is checked otherwise your AWACS will not work straight off the bat check that thing frequency so if I want my AWACS to be on a certain frequency so it's default 251 most missions keep it as 251 but for some reason if it's not you can change your frequency so let's make it something different just for shits and giggles we're going to make it 263.11 okay something totally random and weird and call sign we've got our call signs for our AWACS here so you can have overlord magic wizard focus dark star whatever floats your boat call whatever you want and you can have overlord one one overlord one two blah 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 go hard sun okay so frequency 263.11 and we're going to set up some waypoints now to make this thing do its proper job so we're going to set our AWACS up we're going to make him at 30,000 feet uh, speed yeah 430 will do and <clears throat> we're going to cover some waypoint action so we're going to put a couple of waypoints in so we're going to go waypoint add okay so click on the add button make sure it's highlighted and just click anywhere on the map okay and whatever your altitude is that your aircraft spawns in or you set for waypoint zero when you go to waypoint one it's going to copy the same Altitude. So make sure your altitude is the same. I want this guy to stay at 30,000 feet. And if I want him to slow down when he gets to waypoint one, I can make him go 280 knots. All right. So he's going to spawn in when the mission starts. He'll be doing uh, 450 knots. And when he gets to waypoint one, he's going to slow down to 280 knots. Okay. So now we're going to go from waypoint one, waypoint two. Okay. So this we're going to set up so that he flies a, uh, a racetrack pattern. He's just going to fly around between those two waypoints until he runs out of fuel. So that's between waypoint one, waypoint two, and then we're going to go waypoint three over here. All right, click it close to Batumi, and then we're going to change this to landing. All right, so we're going to go through all this. So when we set this up, this AWACS will spawn in 
It's going to fly to waypoint one. As soon as it's waypoint one, he's then going to go into a racetrack pattern between waypoint one and two until he runs out of fuel. And then he's going to go and land. That's what we're going to set up right now. Alrighty, so we're going to set up now our orbit for the AWAC. So he's going to fly around and racetrack pattern. So what you're going to do, make sure you've got edit selected. Okay, if you've got add, when you click here, it's going to put another waypoint in. All right, which we don't want to do. So make sure you've got edit. Then you're going to come click on waypoint number one, go advanced waypoint actions, click add, and then go perform task. Now you've got perform task, set on route task, perform command set option. We're going to go perform task, orbit, racetrack is the pattern. There's okay, so a racetrack, you'll fly around in a left hand turn between the two waypoints. And circle, he'll just fly around in a constant circle, in a constant bank. So we're going to go racetrack. Speed, 280. We're going to keep it the same as our, our waypoint speed. And that is it. Okay, just click off of the map. And what that's going to do, he's going to fly in, hit waypoint one, and he'll fly around between those two waypoints until he runs out of fuel. Once he runs out of fuel, he's going to RTB to waypoint three and land at Batumi. Okay. AWACS is done and set up so the last little thing you need to do and this is always a good idea when you're making missions come over to this create mission briefing all right in the tasks you're gonna call AWACS okay radio frequency and I can't remember what it was so let's just click on him 263.11 263.11 megahertz all right you can call it overlord 11 one. all right whatever you want to write but in there put it in your mission briefing because when people spawn into your server and they want to tune into AWACS and if they don't know what the uh, actual radio frequency is they can't tune into AWACS okay so now we're going to quickly change this Hornet over to a hot start okay, take off from parking pot and bam let's go yeah we'll save it start quickly run through just to show that the AWACS is actually working all right so we're going to click on our good old Hornet here Gonna hit fly. All right, so in the Hornet, I'm not gonna go through how to set up the radios in the Hornet in depth. I'm just gonna do it real quick. I do have a video on setting up the uh, comms in the Hornet. If you wanna watch that, search through all my other videos and you'll find it. So we're gonna go, before we get carried away here, this little guy, sorry, that one. View briefing on slash off. Default control is left alt. B. okay left alt b so when you spawn into a multiplayer mission or a single player mission if the mission editor has done their job properly when you press left alt b it's gonna bring up this briefing page and you can see there in our situation this is exactly what we wrote in the mission editor AWACS overlord 11 radio frequency 263.11 megahertz so now I can go all right cool AWACS is on that 263.1100 enter tune in and let's uh let's ask for a bogey dope and oh Lord, one, one, in field. One, one. request bogey dope Enfield one one overlord one one clean there we go and you can see our awax over there honing like a mofo and let's quickly go out of here you can see our AWACS has now started to do his orbit. So if we speed up time here, just by pressing uh, left control Z, speeds up time. You can see he's cruising around and he's just going to fly around in circles. Okay, he's flying around those two waypoints that we gave him and he's going to keep doing that until he runs out of fuel, then he'll go and land at Batumi. To go back to normal time, left shift Z as well. Okay. Lovely. And that's our AWAX doing his thing. We can tune in. He's going to give us callouts, do his thing until he runs out of fuel. Alrighty, guys. Hope that helped. And I'll catch you on the next one. See you.